Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be doing a, re a product review for the first time on my channel, and I will be reviewing these Sugar Tip Tack Toenail Lacquer Nail Polishes. And there are three main ra ranges of the and these nail polishes. One is the th one is the classic one, and the other is the matte one. There's one ra more range which is the pro one, I, and I don't have any of that. So yeah. And before starting of this video, I want to give a disclaimer that this video is not a sponsored video. So yes, it's not sponsored. So let's move to the review. The outer pa packaging is very basic, nothing fa fancy. A, a typical cardboard cubicle box with typical sugar, sugar cosmetic packaging. Blue upper part, matte black bottom part, a girl showing her fingers and everything is written with white and stuff like that so it's pretty basic and simple and formal which is yeah it's good now the thing i really like is that they have written the expiry date in in bold letters and in a very clear manner or else cosmetic co companies generally do not write these things in you know in big text they you know write it in a corner that no one can ever read and the shelf life is pretty good to finish up a nail polish you get about two years so yeah it's good now this this thing contains non-toxic 9 free formula non parabens which is another year and all the ingredients were mentioned on the screen and the uh, matte one retails for 249 for 10 ml and the classic one the which the one which has a glossy finish retails for 199 for 10 ml and I guess the nail polishes are not crazy in fa uh, expensive. In fact, it's a quite affordable price, but it's always a yay. So another good thing. Now this is how it looks from the inside. It's the inside packaging. It comes in a see-through bottle. And the classic one is a glass bottle. Actually, I'm not sure whether it's glass or not. Because I cannot figure it out. Seriously, I cannot. So I cannot say. Hashtag low IQ. Yo. Yeah, this is not the matte one is definitely not a glass bottle. So yeah, that's a good thing. It's more travel friendly. Now it's the, the number 07 and the shade name is uh, Crepe Beige. And this is in the number 03 and the shade name is uh, Burn Your Beiges. Now it's a black cap with the, the logo of sugar. And all the details are here on the bottle back of the bottle everything the mrp and all but the expiry it is not mentioned so if when after throwing the uh, cardboard packaging you will not you will not know the you know the expiry so that's a drawback of this nail polish there are 38 shades from which you can choose from so there's a huge variety of beautiful colors and with beautiful finishes now let's check the quality of the actual nail polish product by seeing the demo. Let's start with the demo of the matte finish first as I am very excited for this because I'm for, for the first time I will be applying a nail polish of a matte finish. Yes, I have never tried out a matte nail polish. So yeah, I am really excited. Why I am acting as if it, it's a first impression? Yes, I have obviously tested it that's why i'm reviewing it but yeah i'm really excited to share my views on this matte nail polish now the biggest problem with this nail polish is the holder of the brush as it is square so it's a little inconvenient to you know hold i will really prefer to have a round cap rather than a uh, square or i should say cubicle cap Though the brush is very nice, it's it, it spreads very nicely as you can see and gives a very smooth finish if you apply it in the correct way. You do not get a very opaque finish in a one swipe and at first you will not it will not look like a matte matte color. It says it's a it's a fast drying nail polish, so let's see how far how fast it is by applying a second layer of it 
Now the first layer is completely dried but I didn't test it out how much long it took. Let me just coat it with another layer. So let's first uh, set the timer of 30 seconds and let's make it 25. Hmm. Yeah, time is up and let's see I'm taking a very big risk to touch it. No, it's not completely dry. Let's make it 30 more seconds. Maybe 5 more seconds actually. Now it's completely dry so um, we can say it, it takes about one minute to uh, to get completely dry so it's a it's a pretty less time i will say it will not take you ages and ages so yeah and you get a nice opaque effect after with it after two coats so i'm pretty happy with this color and the color is pre also pretty is very pretty actually it's a uh, purple color with uh, with brown undertones i'm very bad in explaining colors i hope you know you can the swatch will do more justice than my words yes so let's move to the to the glossy finish nail polish which is the classic range of this nail polish range so yeah the packaging is same i mean the holder is same And the consistency of this nail polish is thinner than the matte one. Let me just check it once more. Yeah. Let's just see how it goes. The brush and everything is same. And again, you do not get a opaque effect in one swipe. But I guess it's more pigmented than the than the white one let's do the time test one minute let's see now the one minute is over so let's see they actually ruined a little bit by mistake i touched it when it was wet so but i will show you how to fix it but meanwhile let's 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 see oh god let's try it dried pretty quickly. I'm impressed. So let's see how to fix the ruined part. So take a little bit of acetone or nail polish in your hands and just quickly rub them off on the ruined part as it will get all smooth. And then apply and apply a coat of nail polish all over your nails and yeah the ruined part is all fixed basically you have seen everything in the demo but i just want to talk about a little more uh, of the color my views on the color now i really like this color it's a nude color beige color with pink cool undertones and this color is a beautiful purple nude purple color with warm brown undertones i really like it i really really like it now there's one more thing i want to say about the packaging as you can see it cannot it do not lock up completely as it, it as it can turn furthermore and when you turn furthermore the bottle and the uh, cap is not in an aligned way which will making un inconvenient to store on the vanity i don't know whether it's a drawback or not because the packaging is pretty sturdy and it will not uh, split in your bag or on on the top of the vanity now let's come to the chipping part of the nail polishes i asked my mother to try these out for the whole one week as she do you know household chores so she wash her hands very frequently and guys it chips it started chipping in after two to three days 
but the thing is i didn't apply apply any top coat or any base coat and she do not use gloves or ex- on do not maintain anything but i guess if you you know top it with a top coat and you know maintain a little bit it will last for a week and you should change your manicure after a week to you know pamper yourself this was my review for these nail polishes i will not say these are the best nail polishes in the market out there but if you just want to try out something new this is a good option i hope you, um, by this video you can decide for yourself whether to buy it or not and if yes give it a big fat thumbs up rate comment and share and follow me on all my social medias the links are in the bottom bar and i upload videos every week so i'll meet you in my next video till then keep learning and take care and yes 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 before going do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell near it to, to get notified every time i come with a new video and yeah i'll meet you in my next video till then keep learning and take care bye 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 bye